This is how YouTube changed my life with less than 500 subscribers. I first started uploading videos doing hair tutorials in 2017. I didn't know the potential if I had been consistent but the time and effort into editing those videos. So I started posting fashion content and beauty lifestyle content and literally in just one month I've gained 17 subscribers. I love the process of editing and just putting in the time and effort to create something that someone could watch on a Sunday night or a Friday night just to see what I created. I'm so grateful because it is really hard to grow on YouTube, especially now. You have to put a lot of work into your YouTube channel, but you'll end up gaining so much more. I'll tell you guys all the tips and tricks, all the things that I've learned since starting my YouTube channel. The thing that people don't tell you is the process, the hard work that you have to put into edit, thumbnails, titles, and it just doesn't happen overnight. Every video you will post should help someone in a certain way. You want to ask yourself this question before posting that video. Will this be of value of this person? Will this entertain them? Will this educate them? Will this add something to them in their everyday life? If you make a makeup tutorial, it's something that people can take from that video and use to apply for themselves. It's just like what they say, YouTube is like a university. You want to be able to teach people and help people out and just inspire others. Maybe they've never picked up a brush in their life. From watching your video, now they learn how to do their own makeup for their prom, wedding, whatever it is. You want to be able to add value to someone's life once they watch your video, no matter who the person is. From 18 to almost in their 50s, consistency is key. It's hard. And I know some of us have full-time jobs. Some of us are married with kids. It's hard to maintain because all of us has other things going on. Consistency makes a difference. More people will see your videos and there will be enough content for people to go through and look back on. But you don't have to post daily. It can be two to three videos a month. It doesn't have to be weekly. It just depends on what feels good to you. Whatever you can handle so you don't get burned out because that is very important, especially if you're new to this content creation industry. YouTube will also help to push your videos out to more people if you're consistent. Putting so much time and effort into your video and not always seeing results can be very discouraging. You have to be able to push through even if no one is watching. I always have to remind myself that anything rewarding requires hard work and one day you look back and the people that are for you will be there for you. If you believe in what you're doing one day people will see you. But I've also learned to be really happy with the small wins like even if I've gained one subscriber, one view, one like it's very well appreciated because I put so much time and energy into it and someone was really appreciative of what I created. You definitely will not see instant results but you just have to always remind yourself to be patient. One thing I love the most is you see yourself grow. You will go back and watch your old videos and see the different types of editing, see the different types of way you record a video and you're just really proud of the way that you can challenge yourself to do better every time you film a video. I literally will look back at my old video and see how confident I am looking into this camera now and I never was able to do that for a whole entire video stream. You learn new ways to keep your audience interested in the video. The more you practice, the better you become. Every time I upload a video after I put all the work in, I just feel really fulfilled. Like I really did that. It really motivates me to continue going on this journey. I post a video and I feel like it's another way for my audience to see other sides of me, but also for me to see other sides of me, a more confident me, a better me, a, a, a new version of myself that's just more creative and just very in tune with this journey. Like it's building confidence in myself that I've never had before. Here are some words of encouragement to you guys if you are looking to build a channel, if you're already on YouTube and you just need some pushing words, continue to go on this journey and there's space for everybody. Don't ever doubt yourself. I encourage you to take that leap of faith because you don't know what you'll become. Even if I only got 500 subscribers and not even one more, as long as I'm doing something that is fulfilling to me, eventually you will see the results you are looking for. It wouldn't change it for anything. Just putting in the energy and putting in the passion behind my videos has just been very fulfilling. I hope that you will do the same if you're trying to start this YouTube journey. I appreciate every single one of you if you are new here. If you are somebody who's already been watching my channel, my name is Satina Davis. I make fashion, lifestyle, and beauty content, and I hope you guys join me. Thank you so much for watching. I would love it if you liked the video and subscribe. See you guys next time.